Hey guys, my name is Mo, and in this video, I will be reviewing the new Spider Man No Way Home movie. And uh, warning, there will be spoil spoilers in this video. So if you haven't watched the movie, please go and watch the movie before watching this video. Alright, so uh, in this Spider Man No Way Home movie, we pick up with uh, Peter Parker, um, who finds out that his identity has been revealed. Uh, by Mysterio and it is broadcasted by um, the Daily Bugle to the uh, whole world so um, suddenly the whole world knows who Peter Parker is and then that he is the all-famous spider-man so um, uh, we pick up with uh, Peter Parker in a panic with Mary Jane as they're they newly find out that their identity has been revealed and they rush back to their home uh, through the through uh, New York City and in this scene I find that their uh, reactions to this uh, situation feel almost unrealistic uh, as they're uh, interacting Mary Jane and Peter Parker interacting with another in uh, a very snappy um, uh, snappy emotion or snappy ways um, almost like it's comedic right so um, it kind of feels uh, out of like it doesn't feel realistic so um, but it was still uh, they managed to make it funny uh, because that's what they were going for so um, next uh, we pick up with Peter Parker going to his house and then discussing with uh, uh, Aunt May that their uh, their identity has been revealed. So um, after that, uh, Peter Parker goes to college, and then uh, his college ha also uh, is knows that he's Peter Parker now. So everything is going awry, and everything is uh, going uh, being messed up because Peter Parker's identity has been revealed to the world. So now he uh, cannot really live in privacy and. Um, he he doesn't really feel um, in place. So um, what he does is he goes to Doctor Strange because uh, what he wants uh, Doctor Strange to do uh, is uh, maybe if he can um, if he can make a spell or use a spell that can um, erase everyone's memory and make him make everyone forget that Peter Parker is um, uh, it was Spider Man and that everything will go back to normal so um doctor strange says that um he like he has the spell but it's very dangerous and so peter parker um eventually manages to convince doctor strange to use the spell and then uh when doctor strange is casting that spell uh, peter parker keeps making uh, exceptions that uh, mary jane and also ned and aunt may like one by one when when <laughs> Doctor Strange is casting the spell uh, to make those exceptions that uh, Peter Parker, Ned, and Mary Jane don't forget that he's Peter Parker because he doesn't want to lose the, uh, those relationships. So this ends up uh, disturbing uh, Doctor Strange and making him um, lose control of the spell, which makes the spell burst and cause a multiversal uh, eruption that brings everyone who knows spider-man into this multiverse instead of making everyone forget spider-man so um this is uh what the movie is centered around this uh this main scene is what uh causes the movie to uh basically this is conflict in the movie so now after that uh after that spell goes awry and gets messed up uh we have the arrival um uh we have the arrival of uh Dr. Oc Dr. Octopus and at the bridge where Peter Parker tried to meet the uh the woman that uh or the lady that uh will could help him to get his application uh, in the in the what uh and to his MIT uh, college so um he goes to meet that lady and on that bridge he's finds out that dr octopus has arrived on the bridge and he's and doc, uh, he has a little uh, scuffle with dr octopus he fights dr octopus 
Dr. Octopus thinks that this is uh, his Spider-Man um, uh, from his universe, but then it turns out after the fight, um, uh, Dr. Octopus discovers that um, this Spider-Man is not actually his Peter Parker, it's Tom Holland's Spider-Man. So, um, this uh, after this, Peter Parker um, captures Dr. Octopus uh, with Doctor Strange magic and puts him in, uh, the, in his cave. Uh, where uh, he will also put the other villains that he will find later on. So, um, after that, uh, after capturing Dr. Octopus, he goes into this um, area, uh, into this uh, lighthouse, or wh whatever it's called, electric plant, uh, where Electro is located. So, uh, he captures, uh, he uses his uh, noir, suit, noir suit, or his black suit that he has, that looks cool in the trailer. Uh, he uses that suit uh, go when he goes out to capture Electro. So um, after capturing Electro, uh, I mean during cap, when he was capturing Electro, he also uh, made an encounter with Sandman, who's also from the um, another universe. So after capturing those three, uh, they're all locked in that uh, Doctor Strange, uh, the Wizard Underground, and after that um he what peter parker or the tom holland peter parker tries to do is um he tries to yeah um he tries to cure them uh, or he tries to solve all their problems uh, where he tries to cure um what was it uh, he tries to cure lizard and he tries to fix dr octopus and all the other villains so um after this um when he tries to fix uh, this, Electro becomes greedy and takes the Iron Man core that uh, Peter Parker had in his uh, uh, in his room. So after that, uh, the villains start escaping and also start causing uh, trouble. So mm, here is where uh, Green Goblin arrives, and also Green Goblin. Uh, or yeah here is where uh, green goblin throws the bomb and which uh which happens to land uh where aunt may was uh because aunt may was trying to uh cure um what was it the green goblin uh together with peter parker and they uh aunt may ended up being caught in the blast of the green goblin so uh this uh all uh, culminates into this very sad scene of uh, where Aunt May ends up actually dying, and Peter Parker uh, has to hold hold her in his hand and watch her fade away and pass away, uh, which ended up being a very sad scene in this movie. And we also pick up with uh, Ned and Mary Jane together discussing um, before that uh, actually uh, before. Uh, Tom Holland Peter Parker meets up with them um, um, at the at at his place where he is mourning the loss of uh, um, Aunt May. Uh, Ned and also Mary Jane they were trying to figure out a way to solve this, and then they found a way to tap into the power of Doctor Strange's box, and they managed to. Uh, uh, open these gateways that uh, called alternate versions of Peter Parker. So this is where we get uh, uh, Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker and also we get Tobey Maguire's uh, Peter Parker. Uh, these two Spider-Mans uh, popping up in the movie, which was a really hype moment. <laughs> uh, so we got both, we've got three Spider-Mans in this movie, all three, um, Andrew Garfield, uh, Tobey Maguire and also uh, Tom Holland. And, and turns out it was all true. Like it was obvious, but uh, uh, the actors really, really did a good job trying to deny it. So after that, we pick up with them meeting back with Tom Holland, Peter Parker, uh, on this uh, rooftop there, where he was mourning his, uh, Aunt May's loss. So there, we get them uh, proposing that they. The three Peter Parkers work together to uh, find a cure for all these villains and also uh, lure in, lure them in near the Statue of Liberty as a trap, uh, and then to cure all of them together, and also sending them, sending them back home with the box. So, 
uh, then we uh, pick up at the Statue of Liberty where uh, all all of the villains like all six villains uh, pop up and then we get this we get this epic fight with all three of these Peter Parker's working together and we get this crazy action scene uh, of these three Peter Parker's swinging uh, swinging around after they devise their plan <laughs> calling themselves Peter Parker 1, Peter Parker 2 and Peter Parker 3 so after that amazing scene uh, we also have um, Andrew Garfield like this was like one of my favorite scenes from the movie like we all know Andrew Garfield couldn't save uh, Gwen Stacy in his The Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie and in this in this movie he managed to save Mary Jane when she was falling down and then he would start crying because uh, he couldn't save uh, Gwen Stacy uh, unlike he saved Mary Jane um, in this movie and that scene was just beautiful so um, after that we pick up with uh, all the villains being cured um, by these guys and also um, Doctor Strange popping up um, and Doctor, S Doctor Strange says he just he can't just uh, put them all back because the damage has already been done and it's impossible to cast, cast this reverse spell that undoes whatever has been done so uh, Peter Parker uh, says that um, uh, now just um, instead of undoing everything just make everyone just make everyone completely forget um peter parker just um everyone in the universe uh, forget that i'm peter parker so uh, dr strange agrees to that and uh in this sad scene we get dr strange casting this spell and everyone eventually everyone comes to forget uh that uh, peter parker was spider-man including mary jane and also ned so, um, after that, uh, we get a goodbye scene from all three Peter Parkers, which was, which was a beautiful scene. And also, um, we get uh, a goodbye scene between uh, Tom Holland, Peter Parker, and also Mary Jane. So, um, after that, we pick up with Peter Parker, uh, with um, Peter Parker... <coughs> going back to that uh coffee going back to that cafe uh, where mary jane works and also ned is there and he meets up with mary jane nah, <laughs> to uh he meets up with mary jane and then and has a conversation and then after that he leaves and mary mary jane is like uh makes that face like uh have i seen you somewhere like yeah like that face if you know what, I, what i'm saying so then um, uh, Peter Parker goes back to his house, empty house, uh, uh, that new house. He puts all this stuff there. And now that everyone has forgotten who he is, he is just living as um, living as a normal citizen or even though he has powers. So uh, eventually he uh, gets the motivation uh, when he looks at his phone and then he sees that there's a crime scene going on. So he gets the motivation uh, to pick back uh, pick back up his suit that's been lying around in the that has been lying around in his uh, house and uh, he uh, goes out to swing and uh, to that crime scene and then uh, uh, everything uh, looks as though it's going back to normal he's becoming um, in your uh, regular uh, uh, friendly neighborhood spider-man again uh, even uh, but uh, but the catch is that everyone has forgotten that he is uh, Peter Parker. So uh, that's how the movie ends. And um, I would say this was a pretty good movie. Like it was, uh, they delivered uh, what the fans wanted uh, with the three Peter Parkers. And um, I would out of uh, out of ten, I would rate this movie uh, like a seven or or an eight out of ten. Um, I would say it's a 7 out of 10 um, because this movie was uh, really good. It was really long as well. Uh, 148 minutes if I, if I remember correctly. So uh, there was also an end credit scene where we see Venom which uh, uh, makes Venom canon now. So we'll be seeing Venom uh, in, the, um, in the MCU soon. So yeah. Um, that's the movie. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this movie. Have you watched it? Um, 
and uh how how would you rate this movie and what are your thoughts uh if you watched it so yeah um that's it for my review on the spider-man no way home movie and yeah uh, thanks for watching and see you guys